Hey guys and welcome to the latest modification video for my 2010 Toyota FJ Cruiser. In today's video we're going to be installing a set of rock sliders. Now if you guys are regulars on the channel you'll know there have been two times recently where I wish that I had rock sliders. The first one we went off road with a couple of Tacomas, the Ford Ranger, and drove over a giant stick. It got stuck between the uh, side steps that were on here previously and the body and caused some damage wouldn't have been an issue if I had a set of rock sliders and then I also took a rock crawling two months ago without rock sliders maybe not the best idea didn't have any issues but we did have some close calls and it would have been nice to have them installed now the rock sliders that we're putting on the FJ Cruiser come from Southern Style Off-Road they're available in either a bare steel or powder coated and you can get them with or without the step plates I went with the powder coating as well as the step plates. I don't have it installed on the passenger side just yet. I'm gonna go over the tutorial in just a moment, but I wanted to give you the side-by-side -side look between the passenger side and the driver's side where I've already installed them. So you can see I've got a really nice look to them. Got the kick out at the rear, which is good for pushing the vehicle away from obstacles as you slide over those. Again, we've got the step plates We've got the Southern Style Off-Road logo here on the rear step plate, and they are powder coated. Now, a couple things I'm really impressed with on these already. First one is that the step plates are fully welded on. I've got a set of sliders for the Forerunner that's got step plates, and those are screwed on. Issues with that is that the screws can come loose, potentially go missing. And the other thing is that you don't get the same quality of powder coating finish with them being screwed on. I took the Forerunner to the coast about a week ago. We were there for a few days. Just in that short amount of time, at the edges where the step plates screw into the sliders, there's just a little bit of rust showing. They're brand new, freshly powder coated. The other thing that I'm really impressed with on these is the quality of the powder coating job. You can see it's got a really nice finish to it. With the sliders that I got for the Forerunner, that manufacturer didn't offer any option of powder coating, so I powder coated them locally. I figured that was actually a good thing because that way they wouldn't get damaged in shipment. I could do a fresh powder coating here, but seeing these um, in comparison, they just look so much better in terms of the quality of the powder coating. It's got a really thick powder coat to it, no chips on them at all. Um, Part of that is because they were very well packaged for shipment. Shipment um, Probably took me longer to get them out of the packaging actually than to install them on the vehicle. And that's a really nice thing about these sliders as well. You've got eight bolts and that's it. A 13 millimeter socket wrench and a floor jack and you can get this installed on your own. If you've got a second set of hands, it'll probably take you half that time to get it in position and get them screwed in. So over on the passenger side, I'll give you a quick look at the uninstalled slider as well, just for comparison. See the underside here, top side, and we've got the cutouts here and the plates that mount on the chassis. So we've got two, four, six, eight holes, and that's it. So with that, let's get to the install. All right, so the first step, I got just a little bit of cardboard here sitting on the floor jack, and I made it kind of centered here in the middle, and then we're gonna take the slider and rest it on that cardboard. That's basically just to protect the powder coated finish. And we want to get it to where it's nicely balanced on that floor jack. And then you'll see where the holes line up with these plates. Um, reposition the floor jack as needed to get those to line up correctly. And once we're lined up, we'll go ahead and raise it up into position. Now we'll grab our hardware. Again, we've got eight holes, so we're gonna go ahead and get all of those eight bolts lined up um, before we tighten any of them, just to make sure that we're lined up correctly. Once they're all lined up, then we'll kind of go in sort of a star pattern back and forth between the various positions to tighten those up so you don't get like the front tightened too much before the rear. You wanna do that all uh, consecutively, sort of, and uh, then we'll tighten it up to spec. Well, 
Well, as you can see, it's a pretty boring installation, screwing in eight bolts, but it's easy, so that's nice. If you guys do have any comments or questions on the sliders or the installation, feel free to leave those in the comment section below and I will try to get to them. If you guys want me to take this rock crawling again, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you want Lauren along for the ride, let us know in the comment section below. For more Toyota videos, be sure to subscribe. In the meantime, thanks for watching.